What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another individual skills validation. Today we're gonna to be doing initiate saline lock, right? So this is kind of like a precursor to the IV or you're probably watching this after the IV video already put, but they go hand in hand because both require sticking with an actual needle and you know, puncturing you know, the, the skin on another human or a mannequin arm, whatever you guys are using. And I know from personal experience, you know, seeing all of my classmates, myself included, you know, everybody has a little trouble sticking for the first time in AIT, whether they're nervous Nervous or they just never done it or you know they just need practice with it right but I promise you guys will get better over time and that's what we hope this video does for you uh, just to give you that confidence and show you that it's not as hard as you're making it out to be and we're gonna be going step by step and as I say these steps he's gonna be performing those that way you guys can see at a slow pace right because I know some instructors maybe go super super fast uh, but again, take this with a grain of salt. If your instructors say we're messed up, you know, take them at their word. Uh, they're teaching you how they're going to grade you. This is just to give you somewhat of an idea of what to expect when you go through these skills validations. Uh, we really appreciate you all staying tuned for all these videos. This is probably going to be uh, the last one because we've already put out every single one. But uh, before we get into the actual video, I need you all to like it, right? Show that support. Comment down below what you're most excited for about, you know, AIT in general, what you're most nervous about. And also, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Even if you're not signed into your YouTube account, please take the two minutes it does to just sign in and subscribe. It really, really helps us out. And you guys get way more medical information, military information. But without further ado, let's get to it. No, All right, guys, so back again, we have Sergeant Zuniga as our all-time demonstrator, right? He's been killing it. Uh, it's a phenomenal job, right? He's given his uh, two cents as well, giving you all some extra tips and things like that. Um, but yeah, so step one of initiating the saline lock, you're gonna take a BSI. So as you can see, he's doing that. And guys, gloves are Gloves are killer. They'll, they'll cut your time down. They'll do everything like that. They'll mess you up when you're, you know, messing around with tape and things. So it's always good to have like a method to get them on. Uh, typically, what some of us did when we were in AIT, and even when I was at my unit, we put like baby powder or you yeah. know just some like chalky material inside our gloves beforehand. When you go to Camp Bullis. Yeah, when you go to Camp Bullis, guys, your hands are gonna be sweaty, things like that. So if you put like baby powder in there, like it makes them like real smooth to slide on. They don't get around. stuck on your skin or anything like that, right? But that's step one, right? So step two is gather, inspect, and prepare your equipment. So really, really take your time on this, guys. Don't feel rushed. Don't feel like you need to speed it up. This is where you can make the whole assessment go by super, super fast. Because I'm telling you, if you prep your equipment just right, like it's just literally picking it up and sticking it in. That's all it takes. And that's what he's doing right now. He's making sure all his equipment is ready, right? He's getting his flush prepared for the saline lock everything right so this is really going to save you some time if you take the time to prepare and get everything available see he's got a saline lock the saline go lock ahead. right so you want to pull this little blue thing off because it, if you wait until you actually stick them it's going to be a, a big pain so you want to pull it off and just lightly put yep, it right back there on. there you go that's it and then just put it right back in there up oh, and then see he's got everything set he's going to go ahead and draw his saline solution already right so we have this little hub okay we're going to come in here we're going to wipe Okay, I'm gonna wipe the site. Okay, grab the bag and the needle. Make sure not to stick yourself, right? Nice and slow. Okay, needle's in. Okay, turn it upside down. Start pulling. And now he's gonna draw five mLs. Five so mLs. there we go. Right there. About right there. Okay, we're gonna retract pull it back his needle. Out. Make sure not to stick yourself again, right? And then you cap it. Now, for y'all, it's gonna be north to south, right? So you're gonna put the cap on the edge. Okay, you're gonna just... Pick it up, that way you don't touch it, you don't yeah. like... This is for y'all. Yep, that's for safety. And so yeah, now that he's gathered, inspected, and prepared his equipment, he's going to apply the constricting band to the casualty's arm. And he's also gonna go ahead and give you a little tip on how to make this as painless as possible. So for the constricting band, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you want to make sure this is tight as possible. It's gonna it's gonna pop those veins out for y'all, right? Making sure that this bottom band, right, goes over, and then pretty much comes out just a little bit, right? It's gonna be your quick release. So literally, all you gotta do is that's it. But you don't want to go the other way because if you go the other way, these bands are gonna get in the way of your sticking set. So watch. 
Okay. So the top one's going to go underneath now this time. Right. And we're literally just in the way. They're both in the way. It's good. like it's a big pain. It's just a lot more easier for you. So bottom over under. There we go, that's cool. set up nice, so we're going to move on. So step four is clean the site with an alcohol wipe and then uncap your needle. And guys, uh, this dummy arm, it may or may not bleed just because, you know, it's kind of old and we don't know how, you know, dried up the blood inside is. But uh, you'll know you get the stick once you see that return of red in the flash. So he's uncapped his needle, right? Scarps. And now he's going to hold skin taut, distal to the site of the venipuncture with non-dominant hand, right? So he's locating a spot, bam, he's got it. And now he's gonna hold the needle at a 20 degree, 20 to 30 degree angle, bevel up over the top of the site. And then he's going to pierce the skin, advance the needle and catheter until blood is visualized in the chamber. So bam, he's sticking, blood and we do visualize blood in that chamber, so that is fantastic. Uh, he's going to decrease the angle of the needle catheter 10 to 15 degrees and advance one eighth of an inch. And you do this, guys, because if you don't drop it and advance that catheter one eighth of an inch, when you do advance the catheter all the way, it can get stuck, it can kink. Like, I literally messed up on this like two days ago when I was testing out on my skills. Uh, but you know, it humbles you and it teaches you what to do right the next time. So don't take a first time fail as, you know, oh, I suck, I'm never going to get it. But uh, continuing on, right? So he's going to advance the catheter until the hub touches the skin or until significant resistance is felt. So perfect. That went in nice and smooth. So he's going to go ahead and occlude that, right? And then he's going to release the constricting band before doing anything else. So bam, constricting band is gone. Look how easy that was. And since he's occluding, hardly any blood is coming out. You're going to get a little bit, but that's normal. And now he's still occluding. And now he will remove the needle and place it in a sharps container. Sharps. Bam. So there we go. And so this, this arm is bleeding more than usual because it's got it's pressurized, all right? Just like an actual vein would be. And uh, so now he's going to connect the saline lock and place a strip of one inch tape, right? So the biggest thing about this is that you want to make sure that you hold on to this hub because if you try to actually like turn the saline lock on, right? Or pretty much onto the hub and you're not holding onto the hub, the whole catheter is going to start turning in their vein. It's going to be extremely painful for the pit. Uh, for the patient. All right, sweet. All right. So now he's secured now that saline lock, right? right? It's good. And now you have venous access, you know, in case you need it in the future. And so now that he's done that, he's going to connect the saline lock and place a strip of one inch tape over the top. Again, he prepared his one inch tape, right? So that saves him time. And now it won't stick to his gloves if he has to fumble with it, actually tearing it off of that roll. So easy, right? It takes no time at all if you prep your gear in step two. Uh, okay, so now that he's done that, he's going to clean the lock site, uncap the syringe, aspirate, and flush site with 5 milliliters of sterile IV solution, and then he's going to cover the saline lock with a transparent dressing. Uh, you can do either or, guys. You can put the transparent dressing on first if you'd like, but uh, even, even then, <clears throat> you can do it without the transparent dressing on as well. You would just clean the site uh, both times, whether the dressing's on it or not. So see what he's doing? Clean he's cleaning site. that site. Okay. And then bam, he you know? prepped his equipment earlier in the in the step two, so everything's prepared. He's gonna take off his cap. Sharps. Right. For this, you wanna hold on to that saline lock, right? If you don't, and you're trying to get the needle in, it's literally just gonna be doing this, and it's not gonna be fun for the patient, yeah. it's not gonna be fun for you, because you can accidentally stick them as well. So make sure you hold it. So hold on to that saline lock, he's right? Gonna enter. Come on in. Right. Yeah, okay, we're in now. And now that he's in, he's going to aspirate just to make sure that he's actually in that vein. All right. Okay, so we're going to pull back. There oh, we go. Look at that Kool Aid. Turn of blood. Right. And then you're going to push the five mLs in there, and that just lets you know that you're in the site. You're actually good. So don't let a flash convince you that you're in just yet. You want to make sure on aspiration that you get that return of blood because it's very important just to make sure. So now sharps. Sharps. And now he will put his transparent dressing over the actual site. Bam, right? And then he would just take off those strips. And there we go, guys. So that concludes initiate a saline lock, right? We've put out 
a bunch of videos, guys, going over every single uh, individual skill, except for the same junctional, just because we don't have that here. But we really, really hope you guys got something from this. I know all you AIT soldiers are, you know, stressing about this stuff. I know I did when I was there. But uh, trust me, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. If you take your time and go through it accordingly, you're gonna be fine. And it just, it just helps knowing this stuff in advance. Uh, but take it with a grain of salt. Again, this is just for a visual representation. Listen to your instructors and what they tell you because they know how they're going to grade you. And again, huge thanks to Rodriguez behind the camera for doing this. Huge thanks to Sergeant Zuniga for being our demonstrator, right? Just, uh, you know, just show them some love by liking this video, commenting down below. And uh, do you have any words for these guys? Mm, good luck. Good luck. There you go, right? Uh, but yeah, also comment down below what you guys are most excited for, most nervous for, things like that. And also, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Even if you're not signed into your account, please take the two minutes it takes to do so. It really, really helps us out by gaining new subscribers. And you guys get all this information pretty much for free. But again, we'll see you on the next one. Later.